people! Welcome back to Food Glam Life. I hope you're doing very well today. So it's been a while since I did anything to my hair. Basically the last thing that I did was I colored it back in July of 2017. So it's been a good 8-9 eight, eight, months almost I guess. I usually try not to color my hair more than twice a year. Yeah, so around six months is like the minimum just because I don't want to damage it more than it's already damaged. Anyway, so I, as you can see, it's grown out. I'd, I had gone to a salon and I wanted like a violet kind of color. I knew I couldn't get that without stripping my hair. So, you know, I just said like, let it be what it is, but it, it was more burgundy. So, uh, so your hair tends to have undertones. My undertones are warm. So any color I'm going to put on, it's going to start to pull it towards warm. So I need to do something that's extremely ashy. And so I've decided that I'm going to color my hair myself this time and film it for you guys. I just decided I'll go a little lighter and all of this up here is okay and they're really dirty I purposely left them dirty so when you want to color your own hair make sure you haven't washed it for at least two days this is three days <laughs> so it's really oily as well which is a good thing because you want your natural oils contrary to popular belief you can actually also put oil on your head to protect it and then apply the color the one I'm applying today da, 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 is as you can see extremely extremely light of course I'm not going to turn out blonde I got a 9.1 shade which is very light ash blonde and now if you turn it on the back it's going to tell you so if you have light brown I, I, I wouldn't call this light brown hair I think it's kind of medium brown with uh, reddish tones in it so yeah so it became burgundy when i did uh get it colored and over time with washing and everything it's starting to look more like auburnish and i'm kind of bored so you can use any box dye that you want that fits your budget that you've heard good things about i'm just going to go with the l'oreal excellence cream just because I know this brand, I have used non-box dyes, like, like doing my own developing and stuff. Anyway, so it comes, this one does come with a serum. So that's a good thing. This is a step one, okay? Actually, what I'm going to do before we start is take a towel and put it around myself. Because we're doing this all DIY. If you have a cape, you can go with that. And I'm going to take my little hair claw. And then I'm going to take this serum. And again, this is to protect your hair. So... Oh, it smells so good. What does that smell like? Anyway, so you're supposed to take this and focus on the dry, drier end part of your hair because the ends are the most prone to damage. Now what's going to happen is there is going to be a little bit of a difference because this part till here is virgin hair, okay? So it has not been touched, it has not been dyed. And this is pre-treated hair basically the way you apply your box dye or any color obviously a professional hairstylist will know exactly what needs to go where and how much time it needs to go but you know at the end of the day it's just hair it grows out if you mess up you can always get it fixed again you know when people get their hair cut and then other people are like <gasps> why did you cut your hair what did you do and it's like it's okay it'll grow out like I got, you know, in 2016, I got a lob. I loved it. And look, look at how long my hair is now again. The only difference is I used to, when I ever had longer hair, I used to have lots of layers in it. But since I got the lob, I just left it straight. I'm going to take the rest of the contents out. I have a pair of gloves, which is great. Keep this. I always keep this. You can put like cotton balls in it and take it when you travel. Okay, so before I put these on, I like how they've numbered everything. So the rest of the contents are number two and number three. These are your colors basically. And then this is the conditioning balm, which is basically your conditioner. What you need to do is take number two. This is your color. There's a point at the end. You're going to pop open this seal and then you'll take your number three which is your bottle and then you also have an applicator comb but you're going to not use it right now and my towel popped open so uh we're not going to unseal this just yet we're going to take all of the color and empty it into this this is pretty straightforward this is what the instructions will tell you as well as you can see i got everything it's completely empty I'm gonna smells so bad by the way this one is low ammonia it's not ammonia free so good shake get my gloves on use gloves 
If you're using a darker color, it's a good idea to put some cream or something around the edge of your face. It's just easier to clean up. Now I'm going to take the seal off and then I'm going to use the brush for my roots. Okay, you guys, that was an epic fail. I'm trying to look into the monitor and do it and it's upside down. So I'm going to shift towards the mirror and then we'll do it that way and you can watch. All right, so this is just the roots or closer to the roots. I'm not doing it right next to the scalp just because I want it to look a little more natural and not like I have a wig on or something. So as you can see, I'm doing it really roughly. Now I'm going to take this part of it. Use your hands as well. What I like about this is it kind of will give you more of like a highlighty kind of look. All right guys, so I've used up the whole bottle. I even opened it up at the end and just took out whatever was left and made sure I got into every part. Make sure you have like ventilation, first of all. <laughs> and then like a newspaper or some paper just to put your bottle and your dye and stuff on because it's going to start coloring stuff around it so if you don't if you don't want stuff to be ruined then make sure you do that and use an old towel now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just take all of this dye that i've put on and sort of rub it into my head like and once i do that and i made sure that it's gone through all the strands I'm going to do, you know, sort of rub it on my roots, on the back of my head, down the strands. Just make sure you rub it in really well so you've covered pretty much everything. And honestly, I thought I wouldn't be able to get all my hair because my hair comes down almost to my elbows. I thought one box might not be enough, but for my length, it's fine. I think they give you a pretty decent amount. So once I've done that, what I'm going to do is take all of my hair and... I'm just looking to see if I dropped any on my white sofa. But this is a non-drip formula, so that's a good thing as well. I did get some on my clothes, but that's because I'm just clumsy. Anyway, so I'm going to take all of it and then take the same clip and clip my hair up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a shower cap or you, you can just use like a shopping bag as well. So I'm just going to take a regular sh shower cap and cover my hair with it. There are two reasons for this. One is you won't get your color on things that you're leaning on. And second, your, your, it will create some heat which will help um, the color sort of grab onto your hair better. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, it's 6.40 right now. I'm going to let this stay for 40 minutes, not 30 minutes as I'm saying, I'm gonna leave it for 40 minutes. So I'm gonna put a timer and then I'll see you after that. Hi guys, I'm back and my hair is washed and the color is there. The bottom of it, I guess, is not too different, but at least it got on the roots. So a few things that I want to point out and talk about before I end this video. First of all, as you can see, I got something that was so super duper blonde. I mean, it was very light ash blonde, but... As you can see, there's really nothing to worry about. Once you see something like that, usually your first reaction is like, oh my god, I don't want to be that blonde. But relax, you're not going to become this blonde. A box dye will never get you this blonde, okay? That's why they sort of have these at the back. They're not always the most accurate, but you get more or less of an idea. So I guess it's kind of like that, what my color came out to be. Yeah, so unless you bleach or strip your hair, you're not going to become like a blue platinum, beachy, whatever blonde, none of that's going to happen. Now, as I told you before, the undertones of my hair are very warm. So even though this was an ash blonde and a very light ash blonde, it still pulled more red. And that's just what it's going to do generally. And especially with a box dye, it was bound to happen. But if I had used something like golden blonde or something like that, it would probably turn really, really orange. At the moment, it's more like a caramel color and it's more like, you know, you can see sort of highlights going through in certain areas. So that's kind of great. I'm happy with that. You see like over here and stuff right here. 
So, you know, I could always go back in like a week or so and, and sort of experiment with a light color again and see where it goes to, but I'll see where I want it to be. So when I had it on for 40 minutes uh, at around uh, right before the timer went up, like around five to seven minutes before, I took off my shower cap and I slightly wet my fingers and kind of rubbed in the color again, like the way you would do with a shampoo and I went through the lengths of it as well. And that's, that's basically something like, I think that's called emulsifying and it sort of just helps the color set in better <clears throat> and I put my shower cap back on and then around five to ten minutes later it was time and then I washed my hair now with box dyes, you have to remember that you don't need to put on any other shampoo. Your dye kind of works like a shampoo. So that's what you're going to just wash out of your hair and make sure the water runs clear. And then make sure to use the conditioning balm or whatever that they provide with the box. Now this one is called a conditioning balm. It's usually like a conditioning mask. And unlike other conditioners where you would normally uh, avoid your scalp or the top of your head and only put it on the bottom or the lengths of your hair, you're gonna use this wherever the, the dye went. So if you put it all the way up here, you're gonna put the conditioner all the way up. It's, it's formulated differently. It's not really gonna weigh down your hair, but it really adds like a nice shine and a gloss, which you really want after a coloring job. And they give you enough to last you a few washes, so make sure to keep using it. Also make sure whenever you're shampooing, you know, it's a given. Use a good shampoo for color treated hair. Try to use a shampoo that has no sulfates or at least lower sulfates because that's also very damaging to your hair and for the color. Another thing you should know is that anytime you get your hair colored, whether you do it yourself or you get it done by anyone else, if you've already colored your hair you would know this already but this is for those people who are probably doing it for the first time you should know that your color sort of settles in after a few washes so the first wash is never really going to tell you what your color will be like it takes a few weeks and you know washing your hair and shampooing it a few times for the color like what it's going to be in the long term you'll see that after a few washes and especially if you have like darker hair color like a red or a purple or a black or whatever You'll often see that coming out every time you shampoo your hair for like a month or so. So don't be alarmed by that. But that sort of helps your color settle down as well. So this color is most likely going to change a bit. I think that's pretty much it. Again, th this is pretty much the easiest way to do your hair color at home. You could always get, and I've done this before, is get one of those tubes and get your own developer. But that obviously, for, I wouldn't recommend that for the first time. But if you're doing it, you know, if you've done the box dyes before and you want to venture out into that, that's always more exciting because it's more like, like that's the stuff that colorists use. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to a salon or to a hairstylist. They know what they're doing, obviously, but sometimes you can't, you don't, you know, you don't have the time or you don't have the finances or whatever it is, or you just want to experiment on yourself and not waste the money. I think it's completely okay. That's why it's there. That's why it's available in like stores for you to get and do on your own. Why not? You know, a lot of these, these, the tube colors, they, they give a stronger color and it's, it actually lasts a lot longer. So you may want to try that you're gonna have to experiment with the different developers and stuff like that if you want me to talk about that let me know and maybe along the line I'll do that as well and um, I think it's gonna sort of become like highlights and lowlights and I I'm totally for that anyway again thank you so much for hanging around I hope you enjoyed this little mini transformation and hopefully next time I might have a haircut maybe not next time but soon enough I'm thinking about what I want to do with my hair now I'm happy with a refreshed look I hope you are too I will see you next time if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe please if you haven't already I really need you to subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.